Okay, I'm going to tie a fly now, invented by a famous Scottish angler called Grant Gibson. And this is Gibby's Grub. And Gibby's Grub is a sort of a Czech nymph. Um, it's slightly unusual in that it has a CDC feather involved in it. And you might think that's a little bit odd to make this something that floats into something you want to sink. But the idea here is that it will catch a little bubble of air at the tail of the fly. So we tie the CDC feather in across its middle and pull it to get the length that I require and tie that down around the bend of this scrub hook. So, the back of this fly, I'm going to use uh, this, which is a wapsy thin skin, and this is a, a bustard colour, which is sort of like a mottled pattern. So I'm going to tie that in on the back, take that down to the same point as the tail. I'm going to add then a rib of black wire. Now, I think the original used uh, fishing nylon, about four pound breaking strain. And I'm also going to tie in another rib, this time a pearl tinsel. Now, we want this thing to sink, so we need to add some sort of weight. So we're going to use lead, flat lead wire here. You can use round lead if you feel like it. Start down here. Take that up but stop it quite a bit short of the eye because we want to make a taper. And that should help with the flies. Uh, sinking ability in the water. I'll just wrap over that just to support it. Now the rear body is uh, some sort of olivey kind of dubbing. Here I'm going to use this which is like a craft wool which I use for tying reaka phase as well and it's a sort of a random mix of different olives in a wool but if you take it and rip it apart You'll come up with a dubbing out of it. So I'll put a little, little bit of uh, wax onto our thread, and then I'm going to draw the dubbing along my thread and then twist it on. make a dubbing rope. about two thirds to three quarters of the body and then wrap the pearl on in three, four wraps, whatever. It's just for an accent of pearl as much as any. So I now take the black wire across and lift my shell back portion forward and I'm going to catch the shell back in with my tie and silk but not tie it in. And the reason for doing this is that if you start the wire off just by itself at the back you'll find it quite difficult for it to get it to catch that first wrap over the shell back. It wants to slip but this way it should hold its position 
and then we'll wrap that forward to give the idea of segments in the body. Then take the wraps off the shell back and fold it back. Put on a few wraps of our wire to secure it in place and snap it off. And now we want to use hair the ear for dubbing the thorax of this flea. So I'm just pulling a variety of little bunches off from different bits of the mask. Some to get spiky yard hair, some so that it makes a dubbing to help it stick in. And we'll mix that together. And then again, we will wax our thread. here. Take that forward, the shell back, tie it in just behind the eye, and I'm going to fold that back on itself. a neat little head. Trim off that shell back. And roughen up the hair's ear a little bit. Varnish to finish that off. And that is our fly tie, that is Gibby's Grub.